Our world is full of being in many worlds, and many galaxies, and many galaxies. And in those places, there is wonder and universes beyond our world, beyond our very perception of worlds. I'm Professor Scott Bug, and in this series, I hope to explore these wonders, and find the deeper meaning beneath the mechanics of our glorious universe, in my Marvels of the Science. I'm here at these many tree stumps because they're quite like a much better tree stump I'd rather talk about. This tree stump is a perfect example of our universe. It's, it's covered in bits and stuff, just like all the other bits and stuff covered in bits and stuff in our universe. And it contains so many unanswered questions like, what's that? Or why did this tree just stop growing here when none of the other trees did? And like, what? What is this path that's not those things I just said? The sun is such a fantastic, majestic orb in the sky and such a perfect distance from us to it that the rays from it give us energy and fill us up with water and it's actually good for you to stare directly at the sun for at least three minutes every single day. Fuck! Every 22 years, our sun flips its poles and actually turns inside out, sending solar flares at the Earth, scorching and destroying every single thing on our planet. It's quite a fascinating and complicated process. So imagine I used a really perfect analogy to explain that to you. Remember that tree stump from earlier? Well, I'm here at these many tree stumps from even earlier, and they remind me I did quite prefer that other tree stump here. We have the sun, because it's thin and long, and there's three of them. It truly is, quite amazingly, truly beautiful and other words. Millions of tens of years ago, our moon was just a fraction of the brightness it is today. But then millions of tens of years ago, minus a few years, Settlers and Isaac Newton and Christopher Columbus and exactly probably one more person built a bridge to the moon and installed these tiny little light bulbs on the surface and that's why the moon is the sun. So here we have a sun, right? And here is just a thing. And here is the earth, right? So what is in between? Now you might say bugs. <laughs> yes. Since the beginning of humanity, the sun has been a thing that exists. And since then, not much else has happened. Without the sun, we'd be fine. But we'd for sure need many more, like, flashlights and things like that. That's why the sun and space and bits and stuff and things is one of my marvels of the science. Oh, hi there. I hope you enjoyed that last video. Please subscribe to our channel. Yeah, we have a lot of subscribers, but this isn't about them. This is about you and me. Don't look at them. Look at me. It's just you and me. Forever.